Sonic is about speed. I am speed. It's not about loading screens. <laughs> Based uh, opinion. The Cars video game had faster loading screens than this, and that was the Cars video game. Come on, Sonic the Hedgehog. Don't talk shit on the Cars video game. The Cars video game is actually more open world than this. <laughs> like, unironically. What's your opinion on open world games, like, as a general rule? Tails got fucking killed. <laughs> I like open world games. I like fucking around in a big, like, world and just doing whatever. That's valid. What's the best open world game you've ever played? Breath of the Wild. That's valid. I never played a Horizon because I didn't. I haven't had a PS4. Or PS5 Horizon's game. a great game. That's one of the reasons I got a PS5. I've heard it's very fantastic to play Horizon. The ne- the new Horizon just came out like this week, and apparently it's really good. Yeah. My my one gripe for like games like that is um it doesn't really apply to Breath of the Wild because I feel like Breath of the Wild like kind of mitigated this issue I have with them is that so many games like you know I'm playing through Ghost of Tsushima right now. And it, the whole game is like, okay, follow the waypoint marker, kill some guys, follow some tracks, kill some more guys, listen to dialogue, repeat that like <laughs> 80 times. And then that's how they pad out like a 60 hour beefy open world game. They're definitely making more open world games. They're There's no so shortage of many. open world games these days. But they're not making like them in a cool way. They're like just kind of like. Remember this game? It's open world now. Bugsy, yeah. it's open world now. Even the new Sonic game is open world, which is which fun. actually sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> it sounds like a lot of fun, and there's a, a Sonic fan game. I cannot remember the name. But I'm gonna look it up, and we'll we'll plug it in this video because I'm sure so <laughs> many people watch this video. Um, there's a Sonic fan game. It's like an open world like Sonic 3D title, um, and it has like the same kind of like art, uh, art style as like Sonic R. And it's really, oh, yes. really cool. It's like the lost 3D Sonic game on Saturn or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I. Oh, man. I forgot awesome. what that's called. But yes. It's so good. So an open world Sonic game could absolutely be awesome. It's just weird that like every single thing is like oh. using that as like the the ace card. This is a, such a good game. <laughs> Look how good this game is. Look at his face. He's so funny. I really hope that new Sonic game and is good, man. I'm so burnt out <laughs> on bad Sonic games. This we had is Sonic like Mania Sonic and Sonic Good was good for a get, but... House. Oh, God. I always thought, like, man, you know what would be great? Yeah. A, an open-world Sonic game. And then when they showed it off, people were like, why Why do we need an open-world Sonic game? It's like, why the fuck not, dude? Yeah. It's, like, it's like what Sonic was made for. Mm-hmm. If you're going to put Sonic in 3D, you got to give him a big ass space to run around in. That's it's what true. made the Adventure well, Adventure 1 so fun. Yeah. It looks like they're seeing how profitable Sonic can be because the movies are doing so well and because Sonic Mania did so well, but really all they have to do to win the fans over is if you really want to keep making games that are targeted for kids and kind of suck and are really easy, fine, but like just let the let, let Christian Whitehead and the boys like make a Sonic Mania 2. And then everyone else will be, like, super happy with that. I don't care what they do with 3D Sonic games if I got more 2D original Sonic games. They could, like, make it, like, a Sonic dating sim and make that the mainline series for all I care. Oh, yeah, go... Oh, my God. Oh, my... I just want to go and do the thing! Oh, oh my God. (laughs) Why? Some of these animations are just, like, 3D animations of, like, the original Sonic games, and I appreciate that. That is cool. It doesn't make the game good. Oh, like that. Like, that doesn't make the game good. This is just the version... This is just the game that the Sonic team wanted to make when they made Sonic the Hedgehog 1 on the Sega Genesis. This is what they had in mind exactly. Yeah. This is, this is, this is like... Like, anybody who, like, is upset about this game needs to understand that, like, sometimes you have this thing called creative people yeah. who know what the fuck they're doing. Just like and you just need game. to shut up and let them. Where's the girl? Loading screen video game. Loading now. Loading Sonic the Hedge, Hog. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I've come to kick ass. Mr. Sonic. No, no, that's not where things go. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> 
Oh end? my god! Hello, and I was here all along. You will not escape from me. I always forget that they're like actual glasses that like go around his ears <laughs> like that. They're not just like in front of his eyes anymore. <laughs> oh. I keep thinking I get notifications. I was going crazy. Oh, right. This is a thing. <laughs> Egg Cerberus. Egg. Th oh my gosh, he roared at me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why did that have to load? <laughs> you know, like every Sonic 06 playthrough goes like this, but that genuinely took me off guard. It was so bad, dude. It's like, I don't want to like just be a broken record, but fucking hell, dude. The people who made Horizons Zero Dawn just played up to this boss fight and were like, Guys, I have a great idea. <laughs> this, but with a bow and arrow. Come here. Oh, 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 God. They need to go back to Sonic, the 2000 Sonic, where... Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what was that? What do you lock on to? They need, they need to go back to the 2000 story of Gun and Maria, and the guy says, Damn. Damn. Where's that damn fourth chaos? <laughs> That's exactly right. Oh my god, I can't move the camera! Just try hitting the camera. You have no rings, homie. Uh, I can't run. Why is... <laughs> what the hell? It makes the game harder. <laughs> what a good game. Uh, I just want to look at him. This is more polished than any Mario game. I don't know what anyone else thinks. Look, I don't know how much this will get spliced up in the final cut, but I just want the audience to know that this has taken, like... Ooh, more time than it's supposed to. <laughs> Listen, I'm not a Sonic fan like you. Like, even a Sonic fan would take probably just as long. It's just a really good game design. Sonic the heck. Oh, God. Sonic the cringe hog. Am I right, gamers? Sonic the gay hog. <laughs> <laughs> you see, it's funny because home gay is as an insult. Yes. Sexuality is an insult. Combine the strength of two with the R1 button to use this new power to get rid of anything that blocks your path. Oh, does that include the sand? Or was, was the... that just bad game design? I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell with this game. I mean, I'll, I'm fine. I'll go with it. I just... Oh, yeah. It, it That's actually, like, intentional design. Okay. That's fine. I just, you know, it's kind of the same thing with, like, Pokemon. Like, I just... It's incredible to me that, like... These franchises like Sonic and Pokemon oh. can survive so long just by being like appealing to people like me who fall for the nostalgia and like kids while being cons like consistently inconsistent for like decades at a time. Consistently inconsistent. That's the only way you to have, describe Sonic. He's consistently inconsistent. <laughs> consistently inconsistent. For like that that's a fucking title of a Sonic uh video essay on YouTube that goes on <laughs> for like three hours. That'll be the next video I post of Papa Pancreas is how Sonic is consistently inconsistent. Because I mean Dude, like, if you made a Sonic history video on Papa Pancreas, it would probably unironically be great and I really should do that. If you made it like at least like fifteen minutes long, you probably get a ton of views on it. I really, maybe that'll be my next my next pop up Grizz video. Um, shameless plug um, to the oblivious casuals audience. Watch oh, yeah. my historical so documentaries I, I my, on Papa Pancreas. <laughs> I have my Pepper Snoop channel that I don't use anymore, and Drew has Papa Pancreas, which he does use. What what do you what do you do on Papa Pancreas? Papa Drew? Pancreas is an outlet in which I um, post educational documentaries. Um, for example, you can learn about the bubonic plague, you can learn about, um, the space race, uh, the history of Chick-fil-A. Uh, there's, <laughs> there's all sorts of things, and nothing is off the table, uh, including Sonic. And I think I will actually make a history of Sonic video, so you better <laughs> hit that <laughs> bell to see my Sonic gaming content. Be the first to see the Sonic the Hedgehog history told to you in real time. <laughs> They'll have, like... 12 games in a row that are like lukewarm and then one game that's like okay or maybe even a game that's a masterpiece like sonic mania and like the fans myself included will harken back to that game every single time that sonic is criticized <laughs> well sonic team got it right here <laughs> yeah when they hired other people to make the game like in sonic mania sonic was really good so <laughs> you really can't uh you can't even criticize this game because like remember sonic mania it's just like such a good game 
really Wait. good. Oh, oh, fuck, fuck. Oh, See, shit. Good this game is. Oh my <laughs> god, I it jumped on even... a... Oh! <laughs> Why did they do it like that? There is only one place to go from here. Space. Space.